In my previous videos regarding exposure, I talked about what exposure is and the things that control it. And I also talked about how shutter speed controls exposure. In this video, I'll talk to you about how adjusting aperture can control exposure. First, let me remind you of what exposure is. It's the amount of light being let into the camera and reaching the sensor. Now let's talk about what aperture is. Aperture is a hole inside your lens where the light gets into the camera. This hole can change sizes. You change your aperture to change the size of the hole. A larger hole means more light being let into the camera, right? The aperture is measured in F numbers. The smaller the F number, the larger the hole, which is a little counterintuitive. But anyway, larger aperture, smaller F number, more light. Smaller aperture, larger F number, less light. Personally, I refer to small apertures as narrow and large apertures as wide. Let's talk more about aperture in general because even though aperture is one of the three things that controls exposure, it also affects your photos in other ways. Aperture controls depth of field too. When you use a large aperture, it is sometimes called wide open. You're letting lots of light into the camera, but you're also limiting your depth of field. You are creating a shallow depth of field, so less will be in focus. On the other end, if you use a small aperture, it's called stopping down, and you're creating a deep depth of field, which means that more of your scene will be in focus. When you're adjusting aperture for artistic reasons, like say you set an aperture of f8 because you are taking a landscape photo and you want lots in focus you're really adjusting exposure using shutter speed or ISO. Because you are setting your aperture to something specific, you or your camera is adjusting shutter speed or ISO to let in the right amount of light. Make sense? If you're controlling exposure using aperture, you would be setting shutter speed and ISO and adjusting your aperture to let in the right amount of light. Why would you do that though? Well, what if you wanted to take a photo of something that was moving? Personally, I think it would be great if I could always adjust aperture for artistic purposes to control my depth of field and never think about shutter speed. But when you're shooting something that moves, you may not get to pick the aperture that you want. For example, in this photo where I needed to freeze motion, I needed a wide aperture to get a shutter speed of 1 1,000th. When I don't open up the aperture and don't get a fast enough shutter speed, I get something like this. In those photos, I set my shutter speed and my ISO and I adjusted aperture to control exposure. What do I do if I need a faster shutter speed but my lens aperture just can't go any wider? I either add light or I increase the ISO sensitivity. My next exposure video is specifically about ISO.